After spending hundreds of thousands of dollars this year on advertising on platforms like Meta and Google, these are four critical advertising mistakes that you want to avoid at all costs. And I'm going to break them down for you in this video. So advertising mistake number one is not looking at meta ads or Google ads like it's a batting average. Here's what I mean. So when you're in baseball, if you're a great hitter and you are hitting three out of 10 at bats that year, you have a uh, 0.300 in baseball terms, that's considered having a fabulous year. And meta ads is very similar. So oftentimes it looks like this. You're gonna create lots of different pieces of creative, some of which you're gonna love a lot, some of which you're gonna run just because you wanna run them. And what you're gonna find is most of them are going to fail. But when you find those winners, then you, you turn the rest of these off you take the two and then you run with them. So what oftentimes this looks like is in the beginning of advertising, when you're launching a new campaign, the results aren't always incredible because you're going through this testing process of allocating the budget to all of these individually. But when you turn these off and you just focus on the winners, whether that's one, two, three, depending on what your budget is and how many variations of creative you have, that's when you can start winning and then you take these winners and you create more variations of these to find other similar concepts that can also work. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is you get what you spent, meaning that a mistake that a lot of people make is they'll go into advertising and let's say you're a small business and you dedicate $20 a day to advertising on Meta or Google or whatever platform it is. So in total during the month, you're spending a total of $600 a month. Now listen, for a small business, this is a huge chunk of change, don't get me wrong, but you have to look at advertising in terms of ROAS, R-O-A-S, return on ad spend. And if you're running a solid campaign, you know, a good ROAS might be something like four to five, right? Four X in this case. So you're bringing in $2,400 in extra revenue that month. Now for some businesses, you're like, that's fabulous, right? I would love, to spend six and get another 2,400 back. But we've seen the misconception and the mistake that sometimes happens, which is spending $20 a day, but expecting 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand back in revenue. Now, are there those extreme cases when that happens? Sure, right? Especially if you're in like a high ticket service-based business and your ads are really dialed in. But most of the time, the results are gonna look more like this. So once you've figured out an ad campaign that works, you wanna spend more. We're gonna talk about that more in a later step here. Before we keep watching the video, are you looking for a marketing team that can help you execute on the strategies that are going to grow your business? Paid advertising, copywriting, creating that better landing page, or potentially just part partnering with a marketing team that's going to help you figure out the bottlenecks in your business right now. Well, if that's you, click the link below in the description to visit our website, nipsmedia.com. We love to set up a time to connect with you personally, hear what you're going through, hear the challenges, hear the things that are working, and potentially share some ideas of how we can work together to grow your business. Nips Media below, the link's there, and we'll send you right back to the video. Mistake number three is fear of failure. And you'd be surprised how many times we've worked with a client who's struggling to have their ads grow, they feel like they're stuck, they feel like things just aren't moving, and the biggest and the best advice that we can give them is to simply spend more on advertising. And here's something to consider. Let's say you have a campaign and you're spending $100 a day and it's profitable. You're making money. Fabulous. What you don't want to do is go from like 100 to 300 a day because you haven't tested the system at this scale. And for lack of a better term, you're going to break it if you jump that quickly. So what you want to do is you want to look at it as like a inflationary jump, right? So let's say you're profitable $100 a day. Day number two, you might jump to 120. Day number three, you might jump to 150. You know, you're looking at somewhere around 20, maybe a 30% jump daily. 
And though, if you consistently do this, each day that you're profitable, you'll go from 100 to 300 and beyond pretty quickly. And on days that things are not performing or they're not where you want them to be, either you keep them where they are or you pull back on spend to make sure that you're putting your high spend days towards the days that are most profitable for you. But the mistake is having so much fear of failure, imposter syndrome, whatever it might be, that you're not turning the budget up, especially when something is working. Quick message, then we'll send you back to the video. If you're looking to receive emails from us with actionable marketing strategies, examples from clients that we're working with and what's working in their marketing right now, and other things that are going to help you grow your revenue and grow your profits, visit nipsmedia.com list. Go ahead and add yourself to our email list. We're gonna send you tons of value and I promise it'll be worth it. And by the way, it's totally free. Back to the video. Mistake number four is you're late to the party, meaning that when you have a campaign that's running well, it probably won't run well forever. You're going to have ad fatigue and people are going to see the same ad too many times that they're just going to get too repetitive for it. So you have to create new variations. The mistake is that you're late to the party in this though, meaning that you wait until an ad campaign fatigued to create a new video, photo, version of copy, et cetera. So the way that you can overcome this is it, know in your head, if I wait until my ads fatigue to create something new, I'm already too late. So even when something's working well, I'm already working on that next variation of that ad, that different headline, that different color, that different opening hook, that different conclusion, whatever it might be, so that when this fatigues, not if, I have something new that I can immediately put in and I don't have to have those days of wasted spend or non-productivity for my ad campaign. So there's so many things that you can do to make sure that your ads perform, but these are four critical mistakes that you want to always, always avoid. And if you do, you're gonna go on your path to having much more profitable ads for your business. So if you're looking for more videos just like this one, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We're releasing things like this all the time. And if you want to join our email list, you get notified of new videos and other things that are working in marketing right now, go to nipsmedia.com slash list. We'll also have that link below in the description so you can go ahead and join our list. We'll see you in the next video.